Hello YouTube, Kirakage here. Um doing a bit of a different video than normal. Um I've uh played like I've been like trophy hunting for uh since trophies basically came out. I can't remember how long. Um so I thought I'd do a video on basically every single game that I've played and uh giving you a you reviews of like what I thought of it type of thing um how easy hard I found the platinum why I stopped playing it if I have and stuff like that so um I have played 1517 games not all of those I have played as you can see there are some zero percent of here -ish. um anyway let's go ahead and go through this and yeah this first video will be like 10 minutes long, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so starting off with the first set of games. Um, now, I'm not actually sure on the order of them before the Tom Clancy's in War. Because uh, when I first started Trophy Hunting, I did not have access to the internet. Um, so I can't actually remember what the first game was that I played, but I do know for a fact that my first Platinum was Godfather 2. But we'll start with Infamous, since that's it. Apparently my first game, played game. Um, when I first started Trophy Hunting, I did not use guides or anything like that. Um, I was aware of them, sort of, but I was just like playing games for fun, so Infamous... Something I'm eventually going to go back to and get the Platinum on. But, uh, so I just played through it. 40 out of 50 trophies. I didn't stick to one, like, I suppose either go all evil or all good. I just played as I played it. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, and that was basically infamous. Uh, Far Cry 2. Played it for a bit. Did not like it. Uh, hence why it only has 3 out of 49 trophies. I want to eventually go back to it and play a little bit of it, but it's not going to be for a really long time. Prototype 2. Sorry, Prototype. I uh, really, really enjoyed that game. Need to go back and get the Platinum at some point. Um, just haven't really played it since then. Godfather 2, my first Platinum. I was very, very happy with that. It was a really, really good game. Um, me and my friend were playing it. Uh, each on our own accounts, we were kind of racing to get the Platinum, which was kind of funny since we were both playing it on the same PlayStation, so we had to kind of schedule in times to play it. Uh, he no longer trophy hunts, he's a major Xbox player. But, um, oh well, he was back then, now I, he's more PC gamer. Um, but, uh, yeah, so he actually helped me out with being able to find guides, which originally led me to playstation trophies.org which back then was ps3 trophies.org um and well thanks to him that i got played because he was like oh hey here's a guide for all the stuff you need to find for the collectibles bioshock i played it for a few minutes um got four trophies and then i stopped playing it i can't remember why it's a game that i do want to go back to at some point but um just haven't for some reason terminator salvation got that because it was an easy play but i actually enjoyed it i know like there were a lot of bad reviews about it but i i, I enjoyed it it was a pretty good game i like a lot of games by the way so um it's probably going to be in my opinion on a lot of these even if they are kind of crappy uh x-men origins wolverine i enjoyed that need to get back to it i don't actually own that one i think i got that up from the video shop um and that's why they ended up getting 35 trophies. I think that was the same with Bioshock back then. I own that now, but that's digitally. But X-Men Origins Wolverine. I remember I went back to playing it at some point. And I did something to unlock a trophy. But I, I don't know if you guys are aware. But in that game, way back then, uh, you could get to a point where you unlock a trophy. But the trophy icon was like, you have not unlocked this trophy because you used cheats or something. I can't remember exactly what it was but um i basically disabled trophies on myself in that game i need to restart it from the beginning at some point uh but yeah it was a good game sacred 2 fallen angel i played that for a bit um because 
like a game that got, really got me into RPGs, uh, Secretary is an RPG, um, was uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So I was trying to kind of find a game that recreated that love of it for me. That didn't do it. Uh, so I didn't play it that much. Um, I also don't own that one either. I think that was something I got out from a video shop and didn't like it that much and decided to play something else, which is probably some of the games further up in the list. Uh, Tom Clancy's End War. I played it. wasn't really for me. Um, I do have that, I think. I will probably go back to it at some point, but not for a while. Linger and Shadows, or Linger and Shadows, depending on how your pronunciation. That was my first PSN game. I actually kind of enjoyed it. Straight up followed a guide for everything. Um, it was quite enjoyable. Grand Theft Auto 4. One of 66 trophies. I did not like it. I, um, I remember playing Grand Theft Auto 3, uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and I really, really love those games. I played Grand Theft Auto 4, and it didn't have the same, it didn't inspire the same love for me with that game, so I just never really got into the Grand Theft Auto series once I got trophies. I don't think I have that one. I'm pretty sure I don't have that one. If I do, it's digitally. But yeah, so I might go back to it eventually and just play through it, but I just really, really didn't like it at the time. So that's why I haven't really played it at all. Need for Speed Undercover. Really, really enjoyed that. That was a really fun game. Um, the only trophies left in that is uh, online trophies. But uh, so at the time, I... Um, so a lot of this early on, I didn't have access to online. And um, the save file on that game, that was kind of like locked to an account, so I couldn't transport it off to a USB. And the PlayStation 3 that I had for a lot of these early games ended up getting uh, the Blue Disc Blu-ray drive uh, ended up crapping out, so I got a new PlayStation. And so when I got the new one, I can't remember what it was with the old one, but I think I might have sold it. And I lost all the saves that I had there. Um, I think I lost all the saves I had there because I don't think I backed up anything. But um, that's something that I'd have to kind of like play through the from the very beginning to get to the level of being able to go online, uh, or just boost it. And I'm not sure if the online on that does even exists anymore. But uh, here's a trope, uh, platinum I want to go back and get at some point. Overlord Two. I played it for a bit. Uh, I think I still have it, but I just never really got back into it um and i think like the online servers went offline so it never really encouraged me to play it but more but um there's something i don't want to go back to but i if i'm remembering it right i don't think i like the gameplay all that much um or i did but i wanted to play something else at the time uh call of Juraz, bound in blood i don't know why i didn't play through that more honestly I, from memory, I like the game. I don't know why I haven't played more of it. I didn't even know that I had it. Um, but something that I'll definitely go back and get. I don't have the, own that one either, so I'll have to probably hunt it down. Wanted Weapons of Fate. I really, really enjoyed that game. Now, I know that that game had a lot of, like, bad reviews. But, or just like, oh, it's a movie time, it's a crap game type thing. But I really, really enjoyed it. Like, the music that played while you played through i even got the uh german version to get both platinums but i really really enjoyed it i like the movie was eh, but i really really liked the game like the i don't know just the music playing through it and it was like i got my blood pumping i really really enjoyed that game and the whole bending bullets thing that was a lot of fun eat lead i like that game um it's kind of like a Duke Nukem knockoff, I guess is probably the best way of saying it. But yeah, I got that Platinum as well. Really, really enjoyed it. Uh, pure. Played it for a little bit and um, just wasn't my thing. Midnight Club Los Angeles. I got that thinking it'd be like Need for Speed. It wasn't. And I just never went back to it. And a lot of these games here, I think I just got out from the video shop at the time and uh, eventually returned them. Bionic Commando, I liked that game. I didn't play much of it. I had to return it to the video shop 
and um, I think I was focused on school at the time, I can't really remember. Like a lot of the stuff I was at school, I think. I was doing some sort of educational thing. Um, and yeah, I just kind of fell out of playing it around this time. Uh, Dynasty Warriors 6 Empires. Dynasty Warriors game, played through it, really, really enjoyed it. I think the only trophies left are just grindy stuff. Uh, and I'll get to that eventually. Street Fighter 4. I think I just got it. I th I don't know how I got that. Um, but, um... Haven't played it. I need to. I absolutely need to play that game. I will... Finish the video soon. As well, after a damnation trophy. Uh, game review thing, because... Yeah. Uh, Trivial Pursuit. I, uh, I remember getting that Platinum, so I'm where I am now, but at the time I wasn't living here. I'm where I live now, I didn't live, I was staying over here. And um, I was, I didn't have access to the internet, but I was able to access uh, the internet next door. I know, not, not exactly allowed. So I used their internet to basically get connected to the internet, and uh, I remember connecting to the internet to play that game. And get access to the trophies but I can't remember because there's stuff down here but that's basically the first game that I um had a, had internet access to and I was just like I got the play I must stay here for a week I'm a grip uh, I love my grandma by the way I'm like this is my grandmother's house so um, I must have stayed with my grandma for a week or something and um yeah I played Trivial Pursuit Harry Potter and Half-Blood Prince, really, really enjoyed that game. Um, oh, Trivial Pursuit I did enjoy as well. Uh, anyway, Harry Potter, Half-Blood Prince, enjoyed that game. Um, I went on to actually get the next one, but I'm still hunting for the part one of Deathly Hollows or Hallows, Alone in the Dark. That was an awesome game. I never played the original, but I really, really enjoyed that. That was an awesome game. Next is Damnation. That is the worst game I have ever played. Like, it sounds cool, the, like, the story of it, like, it looked really, really good, but the gameplay was really, really bad, uh, full of glitches, um, it is the worst game that I have ever played, and it's not because of the story or anything, the story was, well, okay, but it was just, everything was wrong just because everything was just horrible, the uh, gay, the um, glitches, it was just really, really bad. If you've played it, you'll know what I mean. If you haven't played it, um, look up some YouTube video um, footage on YouTube or something and just see how bad it is. Anyway, I'll uh, end the video here. Let me know if you like this video because it's a bit different. I'm just going to go through the history of every single game I've played. Um, and yeah, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.